afternoon folks it's Joe here at Tango Spice Company and we're once again out in the backyard and I'm gonna bring you a quick recipe for a snack done on the Weber kettle this is gonna be fantastic you make these you'll be the king of the neighborhood you'll be the boss of the block check out uh, our version of pig Newtons bacon wrapped fig Newtons we're flavor it with our special. midnight espresso espresso coffee based rub it's gonna be fantastic on this little snack let's get inside let's prepare these things and then get them on the grill. This is also a make ahead recipe. You can put this stuff together, put it in the fridge and bring it to someplace tomorrow, put it on someone else's grill and say, hey, I just brought you a snack. And they'll be like, oh my God, the best thing I ever had. So coming to you soon, bacon wrapped Fig Newtons with some great stuffing, midnight espresso, Pig Newtons here at Tango Spice. So here we are, we have our ingredients lined up to make our Pig Newtons. Naturally, you need Fig Newtons. Buy the real ones, it's made with real fruit. You know, of course, whoa, Midnight Espresso. We wanna get some Midnight Espresso on there just because. Okay, we have six tabs of cream cheese, the size of a tab of butter and six thin rings of jalapeno and of course six slices of bacon I cut the fatty ends off and this is going to be a basically 80 percent of a slice I cut I really cut the ends off and just leave in the center this is a make ahead snack put them in the fridge for a little bit and then put them right out there on the grill and enjoy some pig newtons thank you for joining us here at tango spice if you enjoy food like this Hit subscribe, we'll be doing some more. So we're just gonna roll up three out of the six right now, and you see I cut the ends off, big side over here. We take some of our, well there it is, midnight espresso, and just sprinkle a little bit right on the bacon. You've heard of candied bacon, this is midnight bacon. Who doesn't like bacon at midnight, oh my gosh. So this is going to be the inside of our Pig Newtons. There it is right there, Pig Newton. Bum, bum, bum. Take a piece of cream cheese, put it right on top like that. Jalapeno down, jalapeno down. You can take a slice of jalapeno and put it on top of the cream cheese. Now doesn't that look good already? Are you kidding me? What's not to like? Just because we want to, we'll put a little bit right in there. And let's wrap these up. Now one thing I want to say about the placement of the Fig Newton is look, the Newton part right there, there it is. The Newton part has to be on the inside of the roll. You want the bacon to hold in that fruity goodness in case it gets over hot. You don't want it to spill out like a freaking apple pie on Thanksgiving. So, put your Newton on the inside, and it'll be all good. So here we go. Very, you know, this is like doing a jalapeno popper. Just pull that up, and you and you can pull it nice and tight. Pull it nice and tight. And so you end up pretty much with that piece right on top. Oh man, look at that. We don't do no s'mores. We do Pig Newtons around here. One more, shall we do one more? Pull that, grab it, and just wrap it around. Now I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little bit more Midnight Espresso and put a toothpick in it, just to hold that bacon there, and we'll get it on the kettle. Yep, that's right, Pig Newtons. Well, there they are. Check it out. A half a dozen, whoops, there they are. Half a dozen Pig Newtons. Yeah, man. I'm going to put them in the fridge for about an hour, then we'll cook them. And we've found that when we make these, if you have them in the fridge any more than 24 hours, the cookie starts to get too soft. So if you want to bring them to a barbecue, make them the night before, and you'll be good to go. So we have the Weber kettle the 22 and a half inch Weber kettle set for split zone indirect heat. There's coals on either side. We're gonna run the uh, 
Pig Newtons right down the middle using frog mats to keep them up off the grill. Split zone indirect cook of Pig Newtons here at Tango Spice. I hope you enjoy this one. These things are very, very tasty. Please make them yourselves and let me know how awesome yours turned out. Well, here you go. Let's get these things on the kettle. Pig Newtons here at Tango Spice. The way you want to place it on the smoker, since we're doing, or the, well, it's a smoker now, since so the kettle on offset heat, but have the bacon facing the heat so the cookie is not facing the heat. You don't want to get that to be too crunchy. That actually is critical because you like bite into it and it, it overcooks the cookie part. You don't have the bacon facing the fire. Well, they've been on as long as they've been on. They're cooked the way they should be cooked. They're done because they're done. We're gonna take these things off the uh, Weber kettle. It's our Pig Newtons. These things smell amazing. Bacon wrapped Pig Newtons with cream cheese, jalapeno, and midnight espresso. We're gonna take them off, let them cool a little bit because you can't bite them to them right away. You bring your face off. It's a little snack here we do at Tango Spice. Oh look, hey, 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 hey. The Pig Newtons have been on the Weber kettle for about 43, 45 minutes at anywhere between 335 and 425 degrees. Been bearing it because I'm trying to control the fire. So a nice, quick, hot cook. You want that bacon cooked before the cookie gets too hot. So uh, there you go. 40 minutes, you have the best snack on the planet. Oh yeah. Check this out. A little bit smoky on the outside, nice and creamy on the inside. Whew. Here's a snack that you just won't find anywhere else. Hold on, check it out. Nice. Hmm. Wow, that is freaking awesome. Creaminess of the cream cheese. The heat from the jalapeno. The nice smoky flavor of the espresso coffee, the brown sugar in the mirai espresso. And the 100% real fruit from the Fig Newtons. Be a hero in your neighborhood. Make this. Mirai espresso bacon wrapped new Fig Newtons. This shit is so good. We'll see you next time. Mmm. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. We just gave some to our neighbors. The neighbors love us. Tango Spice. If you like what we're cooking up here, hit subscribe. We'll see you next time. Tango Joe signing off for Tango Spice. Yeah, man.